In today's video, we're taking a look at how to unclog your dishwasher easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do it. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. So today is one of those days. You open the dishwasher and you see it still has water inside. Don't worry. Here at the Statabox team, we've got your back. Let's show everyone on your household how water disappears, how things get fixed, so you can get back to the important things you do in this world, like watching YouTube. So depending on your model, the parts that you may need to remove might differ from this one, but at the end, the technique is the same. With this model, the first thing that we want to remove is the lower spray arm with clips on. You can use your fingers or a flathead screwdriver to unclip it and pull it up. Then we're going to remove the first line of the fence, which is the one that catches the food, works like a filter or a strainer. And you want to see that the holes are clear and don't have any obstructions that do not let the water pass through. That could be grease, that could be food or stuck on grime. Then this is gonna lead the way so we can go ahead and check out the filter. We remove the cap that holds the filter. Sometimes the twist or just pulling it up will do it. As you can see, there is food or particles on the filter basket. And you can see how food or particles can accumulate and prevent water from passing through. So a maintenance tip once in a while, you wanna do this and clean it. And we finally reach the part where all those filters wanna protect from clogging. So using your hand, you can check the hole to see if there's anything clogging or preventing the water to go through. If you see that that is free and clear, we can go ahead to the next step. Now that we have all these parts that we didn't have before, we can go ahead and take them to the sink and give them a clean. You can use a toothbrush to the hard to get places. So you can go ahead and get that loved one toothbrush. I mean that used toothbrush you don't use anymore and give it an old scrub. It's free and clear. We can go ahead to the next step. And that is where they usually mostly clog and that under the sink. Now that your body has become a pretzel and you took out everything under the sink that wasn't meant to be there, let's go ahead and put a bucket under the connection. And you're gonna see it's a hose that comes from where your dishwasher is at and connects to your sink's drain pipe. In your case, you might need a flathead screwdriver to loosen the fastener you call your inner hole and remove the holes and either using your fingers with gloves and that's highly advised or use the flathead screwdriver itself. You can verify to see if there's any obstruction on the line. That could be grease, food, stuck on grime. In some dishwashers, you have an air gap on top of the sink next to your faucet that might look like a soap dispenser, but is not. That's something you can remove the cap and verify if there's any food or gunk stuck in there. As you can see here, we had some grease. And now that you unclog that drain, we reverse engineer everything back. and turn on that dishwasher for a few seconds so it can take that accumulated water away. Now you can pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Who said you couldn't control water? You are the Aquaman or woman or both or none of your castle. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statabox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our latest video.